Hey guys, I hope that you're enjoying the summer so far. It's been a while since I've uploaded an episode of Space Quest, but I'm getting back into things now, and the next episode should be up sometime in August. I'm close to around 10 episodes on the script at this point in time, and uh, I'm working towards a, a bigger narrative and more characters. Which brings me on to the coming auditions that I plan to make. I'd love to include as many of you guys as possible. So regardless of the quality of your microphone or your experience or inexperience in voice acting, I'm sure that I'll be able to find a spot for you in Space Quest. So I'm getting pretty excited about that. I'll make an official audition video sometime in the future. After the next episode is complete, at least. All right, let's just move on to the Machinima news. One of you guys recommended a Gmod series. Uh, it's not so new anymore, um, but it's called Crossroads by Demo. It's a pretty unique series made possible using Gary's mod in a dystopian and dark world. It's got great voice acting and a great atmosphere and great editing. And I had a blast watching it. So if you haven't already, I really recommend checking it out. Next up, we have Jimmy vs. Dweebs, which is actually one of my friends here. Um, who's also going to be voice acting in the next episode of Space Quest. He's shown great promise with this video, using great animation and good use of voice acting, and a nice sense of humor and self-irony, which I really respect. I had some good laughs watching it, and it kind of reminded me of some of the older Gmod videos. Replica Films, keep an eye out on this guy. I'm looking forward to more stuff in the future. I was also recommended a new machinima called Infestation Control. A bit like Red vs Blue and Civil Protection. Currently, or at least uh, last time I checked, there's only one or two episodes. We follow a group of Civil Protection units, or at least two of them, who partake in a dialogue which usually lasts the whole episode. So I'm curious to see where this is headed, and I hope that it will continue. Alright, let's head into the questions. First up is Andreas Bahn, and he starts out with a personal question. What is my favorite food? I don't really have a favorite food. Like, that's the same with, uh, with a favorite song or a favorite movie. There's just so much good stuff out there. It's hard to pinpoint the one thing that stands out to anything else. He also asked if I prefer a mouse and keyboard or a controller to play with. And that depends on the game. If I play a strategy game, of course, I'm going to use a mouse and keyboard. The same with Team Fortress 2, which I'll, I love to play still. Um, or Garry's Mod or Counter-Strike. Mouse and keyboard all the way. But if I'm going to play a Grand Theft Auto or a Rocket League, then it's gotta be a controller. Am I currently watching any shows and any I can recommend? Well, currently I'm watching The Orville by Seth MacFarlane. And I gotta say, this show really surprised me. I love it. It's like a modern take on uh, Star Trek with great humor and a nice world building and social political issues all wrapped up into uh, a nice show. Uh, I can really recommend that if you like sci-fi. Also love to watch The Boys. I haven't watched that yet, so I'm still looking forward to that. That should be really good as well. And me and my girlfriend are currently watching Only Murders in the Building together with Steve Martin and Martin Short and Selena Gomez of all people. That's actually pretty good. Uh, true crime comedy thing. Um, I can recommend that as well. And of course, uh, The Walking Dead. I am a sucker for that show. And his last question is my PC specs. And I will share them with you right here. All right, moving on. The next question is from Dilly D22. What is my favorite part of making a machinima? The filming, the editing, or just seeing people enjoy your work in the end? Well, I must say um, the editing is probably my favorite part. Uh, seeing it all come together. Filming is a pretty is pretty tedious. Also, the animating and all that. I don't enjoy that as much. And also, of course, uh, the end result and putting it out there and seeing what you guys think of it. So yeah, the editing and uh, the final result and the, the feedback from you guys is definitely my favorite part of making videos. The next question is from The Legend Master. Have I ever watched Red Dwarf, a great old sci-fi comedy from the 80s and 90s? And I can't say that I have, unfortunately. I don't really watch old sci-fi like that. But hey, I might give it a shot if I can find it anywhere. So thanks. Always awesome to, to have stuff recommended. The next question is from Connor Sharton. And he's got three questions for me this time around. Would you think that you would have done another Gmod series, like another zombie series or dinosaur or something like that? Or another Half-Life 2 series? 
Well, I've already said that I'd like to make a, a series based on Half-Life 2, following a group of rebels. Um, but there's still a way to go. I'm not totally sure about that. So we'll see. Would I get a chance to watch Ness Green's GTA 5 Living Dead series? I don't think so. I mean, uh, I love uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, but I'm not really into the whole machinima side of it. It doesn't really speak to me as much as uh, Gmod machinimas or, or Halo machinimas that I used to watch back in the day. So I don't, I don't think I have any interest in that, to be honest. And would I have any other actors like uh, Spicy Spaceman or Hippie or some of my older voice actors? Uh, I, I don't really speak to any of those guys anymore, unfortunately. And uh, to be honest, I'm pretty sure they're all way too busy with their lives than to dedicate more time <laughs> with my silly stuff here. But hey, you never know. The next question is from Jameson the Phoenix Owl. Do I miss all of my friends? I don't really understand what you mean by that. If you mean uh, all my old voice actors, then sure. Uh, I miss those days at least, and working with them like that when we had this whole Dark Days thing going. That was pretty... that was pretty awesome. I do miss that. And the next question is from E. Am I a demo man main? And no, I'm not really a main anything in Team Fortress. Uh, I just pick a class depending on... Uh, on the situation. Usually I pick Demo Man if I'm a bit drunk. It goes well with his character at least. The last question is from George Corey The Rock. Did I rewatch the show? Uh, he's talking about Red vs. Blue. And how do I feel about the new one? Whoa. Man, there's thunder and lightning going on in the back. I don't know if you heard that, but that was crazy. I better wrap this up. I think the new Red vs. Blue uh, looks like a piece of shit. After Bernie Burns left and uh, the trilogy uh, thing, I can't remember the name of, that they did in Halo 4. I think that ended it for me with a civil war or something. That's the last thing I remember. Uh, and then it just became something completely else uh, than Red vs. Blue has always been for me, uh, at least. So, yeah. I'm not really into the new Red vs. Blue. It's, uh, it's just a shell of its, of its former self at this point in time. So yeah, but at least we are, we still have the old stuff, right? Well, thanks for watching and thanks for the questions and just keep them coming. I'll get back to work on the next episode of Space Quest and I'm looking forward to release the audition video. And let's see where this is gonna take us. All right, have a nice one, guys.